The trail that I'm uh, uh, describing and commenting here is the uh, publication by David Miklos and colleagues that came uh, last uh, uh, year, so in fall of 2017, uh, was published in Blood uh, on 42 patients. And that uh, study uh, uh, specifically led uh, U.S. Uh, Food, and Dra uh, Food and Drug Administration to grant a regulatory approval to chronic graft versus host disease uh, indication for abrutinib for patients who failed one or more uh, uh, lines of uh, therapy uh, for uh, this disease. So, so in the second line, therapy. Uh, people frequently ask, uh, so how come uh, an, an FDA approval uh, was uh, given to such a relatively small study? And the explanation is multiple, and uh, uh, th this is my interpretation. Uh, but uh, it's a rare disease, and the FDA has established uh, pathways for areas of prominent need. Uh, and uh, this uh, situation was a perfect storm, a again, uh, because it's a rare disease. It's a life-threatening disease. It's an unmet need. Uh, there is an agent of uh, promising new and novel mechanism of action. Um, uh, so all these things uh, came together. Uh, uh, it's an area where uh, it's impractical and frequently impossible to do large uh, pivotal placebo-controlled uh, trials. Uh, so in that setting, uh, 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 42 patients were tested uh, using ibrutinib, uh, uh, standard dose. And there are three main findings from this study. One, there is a uh, uh, quite uh, impressive high uh, a response rate uh, uh, with abrutinib in this uh, uh, patient uh, who failed frontline therapies, very difficult patient and frail uh, uh, patient population with chronic GVHD, 68% uh, overall response rate. There were some uh, uh, complete responses, it's very impressive. Uh, and uh, this is all by using the NIH uh, response criteria.